right, welcome to episode two of Looper Tips, Looper tips for, for jazz, jazz, guitar. jazz Guitar. One of the problems that happens when you're using a looper for jazz performances, when you're laying down the loop, it can get a little boring. If you're playing um, a 32 bar tune, you gotta lay down 32 bars of accompaniment. And if you just strum, you know, for a minute and a half without any melody or anything going on, it's gonna sound kind of boring. So you have to come up with ways to dress up your loop and to add interest. And so that's what this video is gonna be about. To start with, you can add some melody to your loop. Now you have to be careful not to step on the melody of the song, but you can do a simple melody by adding some melodic elements. So let me give you an example. Let's take the song, Just Friends. Just taking the high note. And I'm just, you know, picking out notes that are easy to grab here. The other thing you can do is you can use different voicings. Second thing you can do is add some rhythm, you know? So you can do this kind of technique here. Adding a backbeat on two and four to add some rhythm. Add in some bass movement. give that feel of having a bass. You could work out a walking bass line. It'll add interest. Now, the final thing, and this is very useful when you have a, you know, a long loop to lay down, especially in this case where you have two A sections that are almost exactly the same, what you can do is change the dynamics and you can really create a much more interesting loop to play over. So hopefully some of these tips will help you in creating your own jazz looper performances. Thanks for watching. <laughs>